something What's going on guys infinite lists here back with another video and we are going to be looking at some of the craziest life hacks these are definitely gonna change your life for the better if you watch the whole way through you will definitely learn some really cool life hacks now if you don't know what a life hack is it is basically just a little trick that you can do that will make life easier for you and others but yes this video will definitely help you guys out this is going to be a really cool video so definitely stay tuned till the end but yeah guys make sure you are subscribed to this channel and if you are subscribed comment below saying that you're subscribed and i might actually reply to you guys i've been replying to so many people commenting just saying subscribed and you could get one too just be subscribed to the channel and also i hear it gives you like 50 days good luck no that is insane 50 days like dude you that is a lot of days but yeah guys drop a like on this video let's try to get 5,000 likes that would be amazing and maybe i'll give away this huge fiji water this is literally huge bigger than my head but yeah also let me know if you guys want a video with this maybe some cool water bottle flips or i don't know some 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 video i can make with this drop a like for that but yeah we are gonna get right into the video with the first life hack so if you have your own computer or just a bunch of cords laying around that you hate because they're just so unorganized and everything is just a mess what you want to do is you have your desk here you know I got a desk and what you want to do is actually use little clips and all you have to do is clip them onto your desk and then put your wires through that so if you have like you know a phone charger put your phone charger cable into the little loop thing and bam you got yourself an organized desk and this will definitely help you out and you can just easily grab you know the phone charger and slide it up and plug in your phone and bam way more organized definitely gonna help you out in the long run so you won't have to like go down on the floor and find your cable it's just gonna be right there clipped to your desk super easy and it's gonna be a great life hack on to our next one so say you're drinking some chocolate milk and you're just you're just sipping it in the summer obviously it's gonna be hot but in the summer you're drinking some chocolate milk and you leave it out for 20 minutes or so and it gets hot and you don't want that you want you don't want a hot drink on a summer day but it's too late it's already hot so what you want to do is actually fill up an ice cube tray with chocolate milk and put that in the freezer and wait until you drink chocolate milk again and just put those little ice cubes into your chocolate milk that will keep your chocolate milk very cold and also it won't water down the chocolate milk say if you put you know regular ice cubes in your chocolate milk that'll water it down and it won't taste as good but if you put chocolate milk ice cubes that would taste amazing and it would be really cold and you can do this with anything lemonade just fill up your ice cube tray with lemonade you know and then put the lemonade ice cubes into your lemonade and bam all your drinks will never get watered down which is great on to another life hack i actually used to work at a pizza place i know that some people don't come in and pick up their orders and what we do with those orders at the end of the night is we actually discount those pizzas what you can do at the end of the night say it's like you know seven o'clock and the pizza place closes at eight call up the pizza place at seven o'clock be like hey do you have any discounted pizzas or pizzas that weren't picked up tonight and they will tell you and if there are some there go pick them up they're like half off we used to sell them half off which is a really good price for some of these pizzas so definitely go call some pizza hut or you know papa john's or i don't know whatever and get some half off pizza at like seven o'clock it's gonna be a cheap dinner on to our next life hack we have a vending machine life hack so i've seen this life hack in a spongebob episode where mr krabs actually wraps a string around a coin and then puts it in like vending machines and then pulls it back up 
and bam, you get a free drink or something like that. You know, that's what happens in SpongeBob. Well, this can actually, and it's kind of crazy and really cool how it can work. Get some boxing tape. It's just a clear tape that you use to wrap boxes, you know. Get a $1 bill, and all you have to do is tape the $1 bill um, on the edge of the dollar so you can grip, you know, the tape. So you're not actually gripping the money, but leave a, you know, pretty long patch of tape. Just tape the money and leave a long patch of tape so you can grab the tape and just insert the money into the vending machine. You're going to be still be grabbing on to the tape at this point and then just pull out the money and, you know, press the buttons and the vending machine should act like you still have money in there. So it basically free stuff which is insane this should work on vending machines unless they're like i don't know what it would do to you know cut off the tape but yeah this should work so just tape your money make sure it's you know long enough for you to grab the tape and then slide it in pull it back out when it goes all the way in and bam free drinks free food whatever so yeah that is a pretty cool one but on to our next one so say you have some leftovers in the fridge and usually leftovers are not as good as the night before so but you want to eat it anyway but some stuff it gets cold in the middle so all you want to do say you got pasta or something all you want to do is make a little circle of food basically like a donut leave a hole in the middle though and this way it'll evenly heat up your food so nothing will be cold this is the perfect amount so it'll heat it all not just you know the outsides the center won't be cold so definitely keep that in mind just think donut while you're heating up your leftovers on to the next little life hack this is actually really cool I saw this because I actually do have a tattoo and if you're thinking of getting a tattoo well here is a little chart that'll show you how much pain you will be receiving on your body. And this shows you some spots that you will actually pass out while getting a tattoo there. So on your head, you know, that would definitely probably hurt a lot, but it doesn't look like you will pass out. It looks like that you will pass out if you get them on your nipples though. So I would not get a nipple tattoo. Um, apparently you'll pass out if you get them right there too, right on your arm bend thing. So don't get a tattoo there either. But I did think that was a pretty cool chart. I didn't know those areas hurt more than others. On to our next one. This is a problem that I hate these things so much, but you know those little circly things that you, you know, you put your keys on or you put anything on and when you try to open them up, you like pretty much break your nail every time. Those things are the absolute worst. But this life hack, if you just get a stapler remover, all you have to do is clamp the little key holder and bam, it should open it up where you can, you know, put a key on or take a key off. I personally hate these things and I think you guys probably hate them too. But yeah, this way you won't, you know, break your finger wide open just because you couldn't, you know, get the little thing pried open. But on to our next one. I have actually done this one and it is so helpful. But, you know, say you're eating Oreos and you have milk because Oreos and milk are literally the best and you're dipping it and you're getting your finger all soaked and it's disgusting. Just get a fork. Jam the fork right in between the two Oreo thingies, right into the cream, and dip it. And this is so helpful because you can get the whole Oreo. Not just everything, but the little part you're holding. You know, you can get the whole Oreo, which is really good. You know, just a, a fully covered Oreo. Like, that's just the best. But on to our next one. I really want to do this. I've never thought of it at the time. But definitely try this out, guys. So you got some Nutella, right? And the Nutella, you know, you've been eating it a lot, so it's almost completely emptied. Well, what you want to do is wait till after dinner. And this is a really cool dessert. But all you want to do is just put some ice cream in your empty Nutella jar. Make sure it's not fully empty. A little bit left of Nutella and then put ice cream in it. And bam, you got yourself a really yummy dessert. And it's going to have Nutella all over the ice cream and it's gonna be delicious nutella and ice cream like oh. just imagine vanilla and nutella oh that just i just i'm gonna go eat that right now brb
But yeah, on to our next life hack. We have a good sandwich guide. Now, I've definitely made some sandwiches in my life. I'm a, I'm a big sandwich maker, but I do just put meat in the middle of the sandwich and it doesn't get the corners, you know? If you have circle meat, it does not get the corners of the bread. All you wanna do is cut the meat in half and flip it around like this. And this will definitely get every single part of the sandwich and it'll be the best sandwich you have ever eaten in your life life so yeah definitely try this one out i'm gonna go try this one too because i make sandwiches a lot so this will definitely help me out on to our next one we have a little school life hack so you know your teacher's really boring so you just bring out your phone and what you're doing is just looking looking down at your phone and your hands just like this under the desk well that's not what you want to do you actually want to make sure you're wearing a sweater and then take your arm and put it through the thing and you know make sure it's a sweater not a shirt because then it looks like you don't have an arm but if you're wearing a sweater it'll look like this and your phone will be right underneath and it'll be perfect and you can text all your girlfriends all your boyfriends and you know play flappy bird as much as you want i don't know whatever you guys want to do you can even watch my videos under the desk without the teacher knowing and it'll be perfect on to our next life hack say you're just sitting on a couch watching one of my videos you know and you're and you're chilling like this and your phone's up but your hands start to get tired now what should you do well get a clear table and just put that over you and put the phone on top and it'll lay right there you can even just lay on the ground under a clear table and then bam watch my videos all night long and you won't have to hold it it'll it's just perfect you can watch my videos all night long just just keep playing them <laughs> and that way you don't even have to use your hands it is the perfect method on to our next life hack just a couple more life hacks but this life hack is so useful and I actually do this and you guys should too, but you know you fold your clothes and you just, you know, stack them like this, one on top of the other. No, that is not what you should do because then how can you see all of your shirts? If one is stacked up on one another, you can't see that shirt because this shirt's over. Don't do that. What you want to do is this. Fold your shirts and put them one by one next to each other. That way you can see all of your shirts and it actually leaves a lot more room for your shirts so you won't run out of room and you can put all your shirts in there. This is the one of the best life hacks I've ever done because it definitely saves you some space so you can put all your shirts in your drawers. But on to our last life hack. This one is pretty cool it's like a homemade theater but all you have to do is get a box cut out a little thing for your head obviously and then also cut out a little thing for your phone and then just place your phone on top play one of my videos and then sit back and relax now this one would be super cool i kind of want to try this to be honest and you have yourself a little homemade theater it would be even better with an ipad just imagine just everything blacked out around you an iPad watching my videos oh, that'd be so sick definitely if you guys try that definitely tweet me it and I will you know give you a follow or something that, that'd be amazing but yeah guys if you've reached till this far of the video you are a real homie definitely comment below if you have but yeah guys this has been it for these crazy life hacks if you guys did enjoy drop a like drop a sub let's get to one milli but yeah, guys, that has been it. I will see you guys later. Peace.